All right, ladies and gents, we got uh, Saturday, August 13th. Ooh, fell one day uh, ahead. Lucky it's not Friday the 15th. All right, Penn and Teller is the workout this game. Let's go over the work, or let's the warm up. Warm up, three sets, eight different movements. There's gonna be some running in there, okay? Specific warm up, dumbbell man maker. Great movement, all right? Three progressions, and then we're gonna go with dumbbell uh, farmer's carry and dumbbell, dumbbell, or yeah, dumbbell front rack carry. So both in the workout. Then we're gonna perform 50 feet of farmer's carry with you and your partner. Um, and then 50 foot front rack carry with you and your partner. And you'll do that twice. During the farmer's carry, you guys can scoot along. You can run with the dumbbells. What I'd say about running with the dumbbells, try to keep your arms straight, okay? So which means you can't flat out run because you'll be bending your arms. But I call it scooting, just doing a fast walk, right? So we don't want to continuously have our arms bent while carrying loads all around the place, okay? That is for that. <coughs> Penn and Teller is the workout. Our X version of the workout is 200 meter dumbbell farmer's carry, 35 and 50 pounds, 800 meter run, 200 meter front rack carry, 40 dumbbell man makers, 200 meter front rack carry, 800 meters run, 200 meter farmer carry. That is the RX version. Level two, exact same rep scheme. The weights are a little bit lighter at 20 and 35 pounds. For level one, the weights are at 10, 15 pounds and the 800 meter run is a 400 meter run. All right, so to order to get this workout done, it is sort of like a relay style workout where you can switch off with your partner um, every 25 meters if you'd like to, okay? So what it is, you're gonna take this dumbbell out for a farmer's carry, holding both dumbbells by our side. We're gonna move quickly through that. I would say each take 50 meters, each take 100 meters, done. Come back, put the dumbbells down, 800 meters. Um, you split it, right? Someone runs a 400, the next person runs a 400, you're done. Or 200s, okay? Then you pick up the dumbbells again and do a front rack carry for 200 meters. And again, I would split the, e the reps evenly. However you want to do that, go ahead and do so. With the front rack carry, um, I'm always fairly specific on how the dumbbells should be held. We do not want to be leaning back. We want quite the opposite. We should be slightly leaning forward. And this one, we're not running, we're actually walking. So if you take the two dumbbells, two heads will be touching your shoulders and the other two heads would connect in front of you. This will keep your elbows down. No carrying the dumbbells like this, okay? Must be in the front rack, so you can't carry it out here like this. They have to be down, elbows down. We're going to make your core work a little bit today, okay? Um, <clears throat> so those are for the carries and the runs. The 40 man makers, let's just be fairly specific about this. Everyone needs to come back in the gym and find a spot to work. Please do not drop down in the hallway leading out the back door. We have to make some space for every, everyone to work. Spread out throughout the whole gym. The man makers is not going to be fast. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to post a link to what the man maker is, but I'll just go over it briefly. It is going to be a dumbbell row, one arm, push up, dumbbell row, the other arm, push up, take the dumbbells from ground to overhead. Can they stop at my shoulder? Nah, sure. But then they must go overhead at some point, right? Fastest way to do it is snatch both dumbbells from the ground to overhead. Now, when we're doing a man maker, you shouldn't look like a raccoon scooting across the street, which means keep your hips down when you're doing those dumbbell rows, okay? The other thing is widen your feet out so you have some stability and balance while you're doing those dumbbell rows. Um, the other thing is in order to get the dumbbells from ground to overhead, your back may not be as flat as when you're doing a deadlift, okay? And that's sort of, that's fine, as long as we're secure, holding our abs nice and tight, and having the best back position we can get. Understanding the dumbbells are lower to the ground than a barbell is, all right? Secure your back, 
turn your abs on before you pull those dumbbells off the floor and go ground to overhead. All right. Uh, yeah, I'd say 25 minutes for this workout. Anything longer, we're getting a little bit long in the tooth. All right, so adjust your weight accordingly if we need to in the middle of the workout. Let's get this thing done. Um, partner workout, have some fun with it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.